the Mobile Legends Bang Bang M2 World Championships live from Singapore. My name is Lucas. For now, I'm the managing director of Mentang Esports. Welcome to the Mobile Legends Bang Bang M1 World Championships here. M1 is uh, our first uh, World Championship and uh, also is our first uh, purpose. Initial thoughts is to create a platform for the top teams and uh, players from all over the world. Yeah, overall it's very, very successful and uh, we sold out all the tickets in the uh, Asiata Arena in Kuala Lumpur and the streamers are very hyper, yeah, very crazy and uh, all the teams give uh, a very good performance in M1. Congratulations! Most workplaces across Singapore have shut as the country begins what's being called a circuit breaker in the fight against COVID-19. That's why the task force has decided to take additional precautions for travel in and out of Singapore. All new visitors with recent travel history to Iran, Northern Italy and South Korea will not be allowed into Singapore. It's like, uh, oh, we, we should or maybe we have to cancel the, have to cancel the event. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I thought that it will not continue. I thought it will be just postponed or whatever. I got a call back in November about this uh, project and I already discounted the fact that M2 will happen. I just thought, okay, because of the pandemic and any international esports event, a LAN event or an offline event will not happen. But just so happy that we made it through that M2 is actually happening. Initially, it's because of the pandemic, so we changed our MPL in several countries to online uh, because of the situation. Welcome everybody to the MPL Season 6 MYSG Playoffs. But uh, uh, later and later on, we found uh, the online tournaments takes a lot of uh, difficulties for the teams players and also our experience to our gamers. So uh, after the MPL, we think, okay, maybe we should try something different. So it has to be offline and uh, for the sentimental value is it's a world championship. It's something special. It's really special. Doing it online kind of waters down uh, everything that makes it so good. Also we know the chance to, to have an uh, offline M2 is very low. Maybe it's only one percentage. But uh, the thing is we want it to happen. We want to have M2 for our gamers. So we try our best to explore the possibility. What was the key factor that determined, you know, that yes, we are going to do M2? What is that one thing for you? Safety. <laughs> Definitely safety. I feel like a friggin' trailblazer. Like a, like a warrior of sorts. Because as it is, this is so brave. This is crazy. Right now, I think the world kind of needs this as well. Like, we, we need to give people hope that despite all that's happened in 2020, we can still make things happen.
I don't know. There's a lot of security measures that need, like, there's a lot of things that they would have to clear out, and I was very skeptical that the event was going to happen at all. I didn't know if the fans were going to be there or whether they weren't going to be there. All I knew was M2 is happening. Are you on board? Are you off board? And that's all I needed to know. And I said, all right, sure. I'll, I, I want to see this through. I, I want to be a part of it. Yeah, I want to see what is the highest level of play possible. But there is a video. A video. And we're in class for M2. Uh, in, in my personal opinion, I think Having M2 as a physical event, hosting it in Singapore is really exciting for me, for my colleagues, my team, and I think for many gamers in Singapore just to know that this is even possible. However, I think for M2 itself, I think being held in a physical environment, being controlled, I think it's really important because uh, M2 is the, the pinnacle of esports and there are, there's high stakes involved and it's important that all the players are given the best environment to compete and the same consistent environment for everyone. Indeed, at the beginning, we, we did consider several locations, uh, but at the end, we chose the Singapore. I think the reason is also for the safety, because the pandemic control situation is very good here, and also the medication conditions, the hospitals and the safety protocol uh, teams here are good. Firstly, I think uh, esports is a global phenomenon. It's growing rapidly. It's a multi-billion dollar industry and it's expected to grow at double digit rates. So all this means that it's an interesting opportunity. And I think within Asia and Southeast Asia in particular, the scope for esports to grow is significant. Be in trouble, smart missiles abound, Sheena knocks him out, in goes Yab, the menace from Indonesia. And Singapore in particular, I think because we are in general a known to be a very strong tech hub, we have a lot of technology companies here. Our society is a very technologically oriented one. We are embracing a lot more of the new tech and so on. So when you combine that with the excitement of esports and the potential of our region, I think Singapore is well positioned uh, to be one of the major locations for esports activities. I think esports and gaming has always been very popular and obviously gaining more popularity in Southeast Asia. Here comes Pokemon as well. He gets that double kill. My goodness me. He is a going down. Four people. They can't get rid of LY4. Nice. What a combo implosion encircling Eagle. They will just end the game. Nice one. What we noted is that the popularity of mobile gaming in particular has been on the rise in this region. And with COVID taking place, I think that whole interest has really just accelerated. So if you can see on the table, right? Each of the players have an individual face camera. Now the cheering when you get them are very popular. Well, the starting point has to be the growing interest. And without interest, without people playing the sport, I think it's not going to be sustainable. But we have that. And along with that, I think we have a great infrastructure. Our communications infrastructure is probably first class. And the way in which we organize is also great. So I think we have the key ingredients to be able to organize the sport here as a great location. Singapore has a good track record of hosting major events, both sports events and esports events. So I think we believe we have the right capabilities, the right facilities, the right infrastructure and the digital uh, hardware in order to support major events such as M2. Kalau ikut daripada airport sampai ke bilik apa semua memang safety dia boleh dikatakan 100% selamat lah. Ha, sebab dia waktu dah sampai hotel tu pun dia ada bagi macam spray satu badan, bag apa semua. So benda tu apa yang kita boleh nampak memang baguslah untuk untuk jaga kesihatan supaya tak dijangkiti oleh virus. But more importantly, besides the hardware aspect of it, Singapore also has a lot of attractive destinations uh, for and a lot of good offerings and experiences for spectators as well as um, players who come for the event to experience. So, 
日本の方が今コロナがひどい状況なのでシンガポールに来るっていうことに対して特に抵抗はなかったです。<笑>ありがとう。Together with、uh, Munton and, and I guess the, the team on ground,、uh, we managed to work through all the different permutations,、um, all the different ways that we can bring the players in and to keep everybody safe. That included having the players serve a 14 day stay home notice、uh, within Shangri La, Singapore, which is where the tournament is taking place. Hello, guys, go deal. Dan sekarang gua lagi menjalani、uh, turnamen M2 yang diselenggarakan di Singapura. Nah, sebelum、uh, kita bermain di M2 nya di Singapura ini kita lagi ngejalanin karantina selama 14 hari guys di dunia berarti anda kan dia di koi ini ya apa di sini ya so nanti robi robi metal kita ada ada dua nasi biji ayam si mee nasi biji biru ayu deh ceng lo berapa jam yang kita kan dia tuh perfect mau sudah tahun tinggi ah mengen perampil cai sudah lagi nak main sejai มีทางไกลเมื่อตัวสนนะถ้าจะเพียบไอ้ให้ยิ่งจะคิดกูอุ้มโดยที่มีการใส่เนี่ยซึ่งจะให้กินเราสุดท้ายสิ่งนอนตัดสินบอสซินซีเดลี่เอาวัลซ์ไปอาคินอย่าบอสซินตลอดเวลาแล้วกันอย่ามาชีตริมาละ sehari dua hari tiga hari ke cuma pas dari tengah tengah tu dah mulai agak bosan terus pengap pengap yang susah dan bisa apa no dan bisa tanya yang lain terus ngapa lah ก็ทำมาโดนจนนิ่งนิ่งเคียร์เอทเลโบร์ที่ไรมาตรงนี้ครับยังได้แบบผมยังมาทำบอกทุกบอกอำทุกบอกอำทุกโอ้นะท่านทำได้นะเนี่ยดูชิมมากมีหนังมากที่เราเนี่ยมีปีหลังเนี่ยผมเตรียมมาจอยต์ฟิชดูมุกเลิกเอาอาเมดาลิกีเบย์ฟิกส์ส่งเอ็มวัตับตัดดูเพราะที่อาจจะอินทรัดส์อะไรนี่คือสิ่งที่เราทำมาที่เราทำมาที่เราทำมาที่เราทำมา Sobrang excited ko para sa mga to. Parang talagang first time ko lang na patag sa tuwing buhay ko. Tapos ang sarap ko. Ilagyan ko siya ng pampagula. Yung bad girl pati yung shampoo. Tapos kinagawa ko to every after ng screen na ito. Naliligaw ko dito. Kung sa Pilipinas ka mag-aaw dito, sisipalin ako. Aku rasa memang e-sports kami punya grow in a very large way. Kalau aku as a caster pun boleh pointing dengan selesa for a world championship level. E-sport as a career memang satu benda yang penting. Personally for me, I feel very excited to check in to Shanghai Hotel to meet other things.、Uh, we are very happy that you guys are here to participate in the M2 competition. We look forward to some good competition from the rest of you, and also good luck to all of you. Well, for Skoga,、uh, we are considered a key partner in the sense that we were dreaming together with Muntun about hosting an event in Singapore for some time now. And in this case, we played a support and facilitation role to Muntun in terms of aligning with different stakeholders, especially the government, the media, and the press. Hey, how are you doing? How are you? How are you feeling right now? Are you ready to run away? Yeah, I'm fine. The difference between the game is just kind of weird. We understand that there are risks involved, and we're doing all we can to mitigate that. So I think Moonton had trust in all the factors involved, just everything that needs to be done. And so far, it's 
coming up fine. Like all the Mobile Legends fans out there, and even just esports fans out there, can look at this and say, they did it. The world's okay. They're having fun. I'm a new fan. Let's let's keep the ball rolling. I am so proud of you guys. I was about to cry actually earlier. Uh, I was just so happy that you guys, youngsters, were able to achieve this much, something bigger than yourselves. Best fencer at M2, the Lancelot Specialist, Carl oh, TZ! Thank you so much for the support of Brand Esports, and for the support of Omega. So thank you so much. Nung nararamdaman ko yun, parang makukuha na namin yung championship. Tapos sobrang saya kasi na worth it yung mga pinagpraktisan namin. Last 15 days na nakakuarantine kami din sa Singapore. Oh, World Championships. Uh, I was just so happy. I, I still can't believe that we won. So this esports arena is very much like other sports in many ways, other professional sports, because there is a whole spectrum of opportunities in esports. Of course, you have the athletes themselves, but there are many other related areas of activity. So you can be involved in the technical side, whether it's in terms of content production, overall production of an event, and also I've noticed that there are Many who were previously involved, for example, in putting together live shows, and now they put together esports shows for live streaming and so on. And I think that's again an interesting aspect of it. By, by me and my team, is uh, everything is possible. I mean, if you want something to happen, you should try your best to make it happen. Uh, if you want M2 to, to happen, if you want the gamers to have the tournament, you should try uh, every chance to make it happen. Oh, the oh. knockout onto one more ace. The smoke screen. Oh. Now Rubini oh. did. This is his oh. cleanup time. Pushing through to end this best of five. Yeah. No, I think that's a really old way of thinking. We have to embrace it. We have to find a way to organize our structures around it to support the sport. And I think there are different facets, you know, the people who play the game, the viewership online, the coaches, the shoutcasters, uh, content developers, game developers, publishers. So I think we have to marshal all of this and support it as a growing industry. And um, along with that also a lot more education because whilst it is not all just fun as you put it, there's also an element that we have to guard against, which is addiction and also I think the ills around it, gambling for example. And we have to look at it as a whole ecosystem that we have to look after well. Kind of 
were really in just a way from taking I'm hoping that it's all for the best. Absolutely. I mean, the, the excitement that we're sensing from uh, all the stakeholders, right, from government to schools to parents and all that, uh, asking what is this about, or why is it so big, and even just uh, industry partners were talking to us like, wow, this is possible in Singapore. What else can we dream of doing in Singapore in the future? I think it's all very exciting. Cool. Great job coming from Leo Murphy as he doesn't turn a kill, but here it goes. The resurrect eSports backdoor. Oh, God! Is that Can you oh, that's it! Oh. Yeah, I want to say thanks to our professional gamer players and uh, uh, our gamers, our community. Thanks for their support and uh, understanding. Also, I want to say thanks to Singapore Tourism Board and Skoga. Without their support, uh, we cannot have M2 happen. And at the end, I want to say uh, thanks to our partners, our vendors, uh, everyone and our team, everyone uh, who is working on the project. We promise M3 will be on time and uh, uh, hopefully it will be with the uh, offline audience. Dua, tiga. <laughs> 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 I'm ready for the Let's go <laughs> oh. Oh. The... like to thank all our fans who support us especially in the Philippines and to all our fans that have been supporting us we appreciate it greatly for the fans uh, thanks for keep supporting us thank you for your support watch us win guys thank you for your support and I'll do the best